Hey everyone, uh, just doing a quick video today on skewed hyperbolas in Desmos and uh, how to rotate or semi-rotate those, but uh, just get those to go different directions than up and down and left and right. So, uh, so right now I have have your traditional hyperbola, right? Uh, one opening left to right, that's the blue one. One opening up and down, that's the purple one. And those you can get um, through your normal, right, like x minus h over a squared, uh, y minus k squared over b squared equals 1, uh, with one of them minus, right? So uh, with this x minus, we get the purple one, uh, opens in the positive direction of the y up and down. Uh, this one where the y is negative, right, uh, the x is positive, that one opens left and right. And uh, so those two kind of coincide with um, this bounding box of those A's and B's uh, that are underneath. If I modify those, right, I can always, right, stretch it out wider, uh, make it shorter. Um, any of those kind of modifications are uh, usual in this type of situation. Uh, but today we're going to kind of skew these uh, more diagonals. So uh, that's why I have this middle term in here, this uh, C times the X minus H over A and the Y minus K over B uh, in the middle of both of these. Uh, so if I change that C value, right, uh, then these can rotate those asymptotes that I used to have uh, as approaching. Uh, those are no longer going to be the same asymptotes, so I'll go ahead and hide those. Uh, but we can go ahead and modify that C, right, and kind of rotate these around. So this is one way to get, if you need, sort of this hyperbolic shape of either this kind of elongated L or uh, sort of this more angled L U shape uh, that gets kind of flat out there. Uh, this is one way that you can do it. And note that uh, these are not parabolas, right? Uh, parabolas don't approach a line as they go out in uh, any direction. So hyperbolas do have kind of that U-shape uh, sort of parabola-like bend in the middle, but uh, as you get further out, they just flatten out unlike parabolas. So uh, so they are a different shape. Uh, so this is one way you can uh, modify those just with that middle term, right, that C in the middle. Uh, the thing is these are going to go through basically two of these pairs, right, uh, these purple ones go through the top two, uh, the blue ones go through the uh, ones that are left and right, and those are always going to cross the x or y axis at some point, right? So the purples always cross the y, the blues always cross the x. Uh, so as I modify that C, uh, I can sort of change those around, but uh, there is a little bit of limited mobility on those guys. So I would say this format is really good for uh, left and right and up and down. And you can just modify right the, the B's or the A's uh, to get that to be however you want, however tight you want. Uh, you can even bring it closer to the middle. All right, if I want to do like a equals 0.1 instead of a 1, that brings it closer to the middle. Um, same thing on that one. So you can even scale these a little bit to be either closer or further away from that center, make it sharper or uh, less sharp, depending on what you need. Uh, so uh, the closer you get in, right, if this was 0.01, I can make that really sharp uh, corner right there. Uh, or if I don't need it quite that sharp, just leave it at 1. So you can always kind of scale these um, closer to the center or further away if you need it to. Uh, but one thing that this format's not real good at getting is uh, kind of ones that open uh, fully diagonally, right, that are fully in between both of these x and y axis, uh, kind of going in a 45-degree uh, angle, right, right in the middle. So um, this type of format's not super good at that. Uh, one format that is, is something that looks very similar to our ellipse equation. In fact, it is the same as our ellipse equation, uh, except for I'm going to make my c's, right, so if I um, show this one. Uh, that is my ellipse. Uh, but now I'm going to change my C value to go uh, past 2, right, and then it starts looking more like an ellipse. Only this time, instead of alternating, um, going through both sides, right, this one goes through 
both sets of points that are over here. So uh, both sets of points that are normally on the x and y axis, uh, that's right there, uh, that is going to go through both sets of those points. And then I can modify my c right, to be uh, kind of either way, either direction on those guys. Right? But the, the c has got to be bigger than 2 or smaller than negative 2 in that format. Uh, this other one where I have it equal to negative 1, I'll go ahead and click that one. So that is this green. And that, again, I can get to be uh, kind of in between those orange. So again, I have kind of a matching pair of hyperbolas here. So as that gets closer in, right, or uh, as we go to the other way, uh, we can get it in either quadrants 1 and 3. Uh, as we go to the right and up or uh, down and to the left, uh, and if I make that C positive, then we can get in quadrants 2 and 4 uh, this way. Uh, again, I can make that tighter if I want to make this like a, a point 0.1 instead of a 1. Uh, we can bring that closer into the center, get that tighter curve, or uh, if I need it looser, I can always um, expand that out. So just changing the equals 1 or negative 1 to equals uh, like 0.1 or even 2 or 3 will make it uh, go further out from that center point. Uh, that is mostly uh, it. So um, you can, of course, adjust this past 10 if you want to go past 10. But uh, a lot of times kind of having that C in the middle, I can even move the A's and B's right to get uh, kind of a more sideways shape or um, closer to the axis. Uh, however I want to do it, I can even bring those in to get it a little bit tighter. Um, so whatever sort of hyperbolic shape that you might want to get, you can adjust those A's, B's, C's values uh, to get what you need. So uh, I'll be doing another video of using this in the graphing project, but uh, this should kind of help get you started, uh, whichever way that you want to do it. Um, whether you need hyperbolas that are opening more toward the axes or uh, using this other with the C, uh, past the 2 and negative 2 if I need them to open more in the middle of the x and y axis rather than along the x and y axis. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful. Uh, like I said, we'll do another one um, with a specific curve in the graphing project. Uh, I'll pull one from the Calvin and Hobbes, but that'll do it for today, and we'll see you on the next one.